All right, I've already done a couple of videos on this, but I wanted to make one final video before I uh, stop this project. Um, this was uh, for the uh, Heathkit ETW3800, and it is a microprocessor trainer, and it has a couple uh, uh, slots here that you can put in different, uh, uh, different um, microprocessors. So it could come with a, a 6811 or an 8085. And I've created a module that is for uh, the AT Tiny. So uh, it's a, a 3D printed case, and uh, that can go inside the uh, module here. And we can turn it on, and you can see that it actually turns on and does something. Um, let's see here. So uh, the uh, address lines and the data lines are active through I squared C actually, and then the input and output ports work. Um, some of these ports are used for things that weren't necessarily Heathkit, uh, but a lot of the IO lines come out on pins down here. Uh, the programming, if you want to program the AT Tiny, it's a one wire program, uh, program interface, a UPDI. And that comes out on the COP, the COP pin here. So if you put a, 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 a programmer here on pin uh, COP, you can talk to the actual microprocessor. Um, I do have a little program running now. If I hit the keyboard, so it's reading, it's scanning the keyboard and then reading out the value. And then when it gets the value, it puts the column number uh, here, okay, so it's reading, it's reading uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the row value, it's reading the columns, and then it's displaying the row value, so row value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, okay, and uh, it also understands uh, which column it is, because it's doing the scanning, but this is an example of scanning the keyboard, reading the value, picking one of those values and then outputting on the output port um, and then monitoring the data lines with some wires here. So as we, as we actually run the program, you can watch the data lines uh, do their thing over here. So it's kind of like a bus monitor. Um, let me uh, show you a little bit more. All right, on the actual card, uh, I've put a location here for a uh, OLED display. And the OLED display pokes out here in a little cutout in the, uh, in the uh, 3D printed case, so you can read it here. And I think, I think you can see that. And it's gonna tell me uh, which row and which column uh, the keyboard was being pressed. That's just an example program. And another example is, uh, let's see here, let me move the camera. Uh, I also have, uh, some software that allows you to write to the LCD screen here. Um, and uh, that's looking pretty good. In fact, it needs to have its, uh, there's, a, there's a potentiometer down here, so we can, uh, we can adjust the contrast of the LCD display. Yeah, that looks better. Um, and so uh, almost everything works on the, um, on the uh, machine. Uh, it's up to somebody if they want to write a monitor program and try to do that. Uh, wasn't my my intention. My intention was just to have a nice place to play with the AT Tiny because the breadboard does have plus or minus 12 volts and uh, some other features like a uh, logic uh, probe and and things like that. So it's kind of a nice thing just as a as a, a place to do prototyping and stuff not actually teach you about the microprocessor like the like the original version but it did give you some additional capabilities um so uh if you are interested in this thing uh, there are uh, a couple places to go uh the first place to go would be pcb way i'll put a link down below uh where you can actually order the boards uh so I recommend that you get them gold-plated um, because of the edge connector. Um, and uh, these boards, I, I opted for double the amount of gold. One micron is typical. I put on two microns to make it a little better. You can actually request hard gold, but it's very expensive. But I think the, uh, the two micron gold is holding up quite well. Uh, so so that's, that's working pretty good. So... Uh, at the PCB Way um, uh, share site, I also point to a GitHub, 
and that GitHub has uh, the program that I just showed you, um, and it has the file for the 3D printed case. So uh, you, just by going to the PCB, we uh, uh, my share all my shared uh, boards are there, and uh, that will get you going. Um, it is laid out for two different versions. You can do the 14 pin or the 20 pin. So these are like AT Tiny 814, uh, 814, uh, the, the like uh, 3224s in the 14 pin packages. And then there are some bigger ones. I don't remember the part numbers now with AT Tinies that have the SO20. Um, um, so uh, you can load either one, and the board supports those. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a fun little project and uh, hopefully I can get some mileage out of it in the future.